Yes, and empty your mind. Hey everybody, welcome to today's lesson. I hope you and yours are doing well, and this is our Wing Chun Kung Fu Quarantine Stream Lesson Number Five. My name is Master Wanish, Sifu Wanish, John, whatever you want to call me, Sifu John, that's fine with me. I'm just glad you're here, and I hope everybody's enjoying the lessons. If you can and you haven't already, do me a favor, hit that subscribe button, hit that bell notification so you don't miss out on any future videos to come, and give the video a thumbs up if you like it, that would be wonderful, and we're gonna jump right into today's lesson. Now, before I get started, I just wanna say I know, and we all know, this is just unprecedented, this is crazy times, and it's just been a really a roller coaster for everybody, physically, mentally, financially, in every way, shape, or form. And I know for many of you out there, basically your jobs have been just stripped away. I know all my income has been yanked off the table. So everywhere I work for, companies closed, everywhere shut down, and it's stressful. But you know what? It's all out of our control right now, and we can only really stress out over the things within our control. So we need to be doing everything we can to focus on staying healthy, keeping our family happy, and doing everything we can to stay safe, the time will come where we will make more money. We will get through this financially. Right now, we need to focus on our emotional, physical, and mental well-being and do everything you can to keep that in check. So making sure you're getting good sleep, good exercise, eating as properly as you can, maybe taking some supplementation, and I'd be happy to talk about some of the things I'm doing in another video to come. Today, I just wanna jump right into it with everybody and get into this lesson since I've actually filmed this a few times. Um, I heard my son, so I had to go you know, um, get him and then I didn't have the microphone on. So needless to say, I'm refilming this lesson for the however many times, probably the fifth time, which is fine because it's quarantine stream number five. So let's get started. Now, a gentleman had asked me the other day about doing the chum cue form and I am more than happy to. We will get into that in the near, uh, very near future. I think it's a great time to get into the chum cue because these forms are something we can all do. We don't need partners, so it would be a great time to go through the forms. I, will, I have some wooden dummies in the garage. I'll work on getting one mounted up here so we can go over some of the wooden dummy and have some fun with that as well in the near future. Um, but today we're gonna get started with the Silentau form. In the past lessons, I've covered some chain punching and numeric punching or five count punching. Today, we're gonna to take a look at three level punching, but let's just do a quick run through of the Silum Tao form. If it's your first time here, um, basically I'm working as your mirror, so you don't need to like look like this. You can just follow me. You're gonna start with your left side. I'm doing my right side. And if you're not familiar with the form, later on when we're done, just go to the links down below and just look at the individual sections of the form and you can get the form in extreme detail. So next time you join, you'll be able to follow along better and better each time. Uh, and then we'll get into the three level punching. So let's start with our feet together. Take a deep breath in and then let it out. Let's do one more deep breath in. Let it out, let your shoulders relax, your head relax, everything relax. And then one last deep breath in and all the way out. Now we're going to bring our hands up. Before we begin, make sure you're in that good stance, knees in, feet on a straight line. Even if this is a little, this is actually a little crooked, my feet would be on a straight line, arms back. Now you're utilizing your left hand first.
And this happens three times, but remember if you wanted to do it 30 times or 300 times as a meditation, you could just keep doing that section over and over. It's very relaxing, gets your chi flowing well. Excellent. That's the Silum Tau form. Now let's move on to three-level punching. So before we get into three-level punching, remember the other day we did right neutral, left neutral, right neutral, and we talked about a right and left neutral stance. Let's just take a quick look at a front stance in Wing Chun. So what we're doing is moving into our, sorry, forward stance. So here's a neutral stance. Here's a forward stance. So the key is with the forward stance, and I'm just gonna not use my hands. I know, ah, I touched my face, my hands are clean, don't worry. Um, uh, when we go to this forward stance, it's just a simple step forward. So in three level punching, you're gonna be moving from a neutral to a forward stance. And that's all I'm doing is taking a simple step forward. You'll see people take a really extremely large step. Let me grab another stick here. So let me do this. So if you're in your right neutral, notice how, or sorry, left neutral, I'm in a right neutral. Notice how when I step forward, my foot comes straight forward. So I just put this stick here so you see how I'm not stepping here this way, I'm not stepping out that way, I'm just taking a nice small step forward. From a side view in this forward stance, let me get this more in a straight line, my feet were right here. When I step to my forward, this is like literally just coming right forward so it's not a really large step it's a very small step forward so that's very important to understand you're not taking a large step forward and you're not taking a, an outward or an inward movement your foot is just coming on a straight line forward that simple now something i noticed the biggest mistake with the forward stance is when everybody steps forward i see their center go forward as well and i'll get into center and central line theory a little bit more in the future but, you know, if I'm standing straight, this is my true center line. When I'm in a neutral stance, my true center line is away from you. And I have a line from my center towards you, which we call the central line, right? So when I step, let's just bring my center line here. When I step to my forward, notice my center line didn't move. And this is what I see a lot of people do, and I'm really going to exaggerate it and then they square up, right? So you bring your shoulder square, everything square center right here. That doesn't take place. When you're in the stance and you step, it's very simple. And these little simple key pieces are the things that people are missing that are so crucial, right? And I see everybody, whoop, and then they step and they square up. That's incorrect. You're not giving your center to your opponent. It's off protected for a reason. When I step forward, it stays that way. So it really doesn't move it's my foot that moves, not my shoulders that move, right? So it's a simple step forward. Now let's get into three-level punching. When we do the three-level punching, we're going to work on a few things. One, stepping to a forward. Two, unification of movement. And three, exchanging between a fist and an open hand. So we're not just going like this with our fists, which you could do this exercise with a closed fist each time, but we're exchanging back and forth. 
we're going to talk about one hand position, Wu Sao. So when I'm in my neutral stance, I'll just take a side view, this rear hand is called Wu Sao. It's a protecting hand. So when I punch anything that's happening, this hand is up. I'm not just dropping my guard down. I don't want to punch and drop my hand down. I'm always keeping this hand up for protection. My rear hand is Wu Sao. If I was to do a Bong Sao deflection, I don't have my hand down, I have this. So if something went wrong with my deflection, I have this other layer of protection up to, to protect myself. So the rear hand is called Wu Sao. I will get into unification of movement in a second. So when I'm in my right neutral stance and I step forward, this is how the three level punching goes. One, two, three. More advanced practitioners will be going and getting a lot of hip rotation. Today I'm not bothered with the hip rotation. You don't have to worry about that at all. This is a very beginning exercise, a very beginning punching exercise. So you're gonna step here, one, low punch, middle punch, high punch. And notice how I'm exchanging between a fist and an open hand, and then coming back, and then coming here. Now, for those that have been doing Wing Chun a while, you're like, that is so easy, you know, no big deal. And it is. But for if you could remember back when you were a new student, you're kind of like fumbling with that. Everybody fumbles with that. So it's just something that it takes slow. You step and punch one, two, three. So it's working on, you could also, if you were closed fist, you could do it one, two, three. But we're practicing going from a punch to an open fist, and we're punching at different levels. One, two, three. One, two, three. It's not about the speed, it's about good form and practicing your punching. Now I mentioned something called unification of movement, and that's why I also call this the unification of movement exercise in addition to three level punching. Um, actually, I have another exercise that I call unification of movement exercise, but this encompasses a little bit of that, and it's kind of like your very first introduction to unification of movement. And what I mean by that is, when you punch, you're not going punch step, or you're not step punch. Your first punch, and I'll do this one from a left neutral so you see it from both sides. Sorry, my beard's growing out and it's starting to itch. Um, when I step, I'm gonna go one. Let me do that again, and you can just practice that first move one. So when I'm landing, boom, my punch and my, my, my punch and my footwork come at the same time. Once again, it's not punch step. It's not step punch. That comes together. One. One. One, right? So when I'm punching, if I step and throw a punch, boom, that's going to land at once. You're going to get that punch and your footwork landing at the same time to get all that power. So that's something else this exercise practices. One, two, three. On that first step, one, two, three. One, two, three. So now let's do that together. Everybody at home, get in your left neutral stance on a straight line. I'll get in my right neutral to be your mirror. Hands out, remember our center is staying away, and we're doing this the whole time, our center is still staying away. And we're gonna go with that first step, unified punch and step. One. Two. Three. Back. Low. Middle. High. Back. Boom, boom, boom. You can do this fast, but there's no need. So let's go real slow. One, two, three. Later on, we'll talk about getting proper body mechanics into our punching, getting that hip pushing off from the ground, that hip rotation. But for now, this is just a basic punching exercise. So back to your left neutral. One. Two. Three. One, two, three. 
four, one, two, three, five, one, two, three, six, one, two, three. Go ahead, switch to your right neutral stance, feet on the straight line, center away, hands out. Remember your rear hand's at the level of your elbow, your rear hand, which we now know as Wu Sao, W-U. And here we go again. So let's, one, two, three, low, middle, high, two, low, middle, high, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll take this one nice and slow. Nine, low, middle, high. Excellent. So that is the three level punching. So now you can work on a punch exchange. You can work on chain punching. The numeric punching one, one, two, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five. And then you have your three level punching. So you have a few Wing Chun punching drills now under your belt to work on all week and practice all week along with the Silum Tao. And what I'm gonna be doing is putting more of these little elements together, and then we're gonna have this all put together for a nice Kung Fu warm up. When we start off a class, we start off with stretching. After we all stretch, we do the Silum Tao form. We run through numeric punching, chain punching, three level punching. We throw a bunch of kicks. We have a footwork exercise, and then we get into the class. So it's a good Kung Fu warm up. We do it every single class and something everybody can practice at their house. Thank you for joining me today. Please, if you have any questions, drop them down below. Um, I hope to get some, maybe some live streaming going in the very near future, all sorts of good things. And I wish you and yours well, from my family to yours, all the very best. Stay safe, stay well, and I'll see everybody tomorrow. Have a great day.